In this video, I'm gonna show you the three best ways that you can increase your click-through ratio. But before we get there, I need to firstly let you know why this is so important and why you should always have a focus on increasing your click-through ratio. What you need to always remember with Google Ads is that Google only gets paid when someone clicks on your ad. So with an auction-based system, Google gets absolutely no money for someone seeing your ad. They only get paid when someone clicks on that ad. So if you have a higher click-through ratio, you're giving Google a greater incentive to show your ad as opposed to your competitors' ads. A common way that I explain it is like this. If you have a click-through ratio of 10% and a CPC bid of a dollar, whereas your competitor has a click-through ratio of 3% and a bid of $2, it is actually more financially lucrative for Google to show your ads as opposed to your competitors' ads, even though your competitor has a bid limit that is double yours. And let's break down the maths of this. So for every 100 searches with a click-through ratio of 10%, Google would get 10 clicks out of every 100 searches, so they would then get $10. Whereas your competitor, because their click-through ratio is only 3%, out of every 100 searches, they would get three clicks, meaning they would only get $6. So if once you understand that simple equation, you can then see very clearly why it is so important to focus on your click-through ratio. So the next lead-up question that I get all the time is, well, what is the best click-through ratio that I should be achieving? When we look at all search campaigns, over the last 12 months, the average click-through ratio has been 6.42%. But if you wanna get some data which is more relative to your business, I wanna show you how you can do that right now. And let's jump into a screen share. And what you wanna do is you wanna go into Google and you wanna search WordStream 2024 benchmarks. And then this brings you to this WordStream report. And as you can see through here, the click-through ratio was 6.42%. And that was running from April 2023 through to March 2024. But if you go down the page further, you can actually see that you get the benchmarks for different industries. So if you click to expand, now it's not gonna have your exact business in there, but you can see here, it does break it down into core niches. So you can see health and fitness, you can see you know business services, beauty and personal care, automotive. Now, sometimes the way that I've balanced this out, if you don't get an exact match, you can look at two or three similar business areas and it kind of gives you an idea of what click-through ratio you should be looking to achieve. Now, the goal here of what I look to do is I always look to be a good five to 10% higher than the industry average. So if I was in the travel niche, because their click-through ratio is at 10.15%, I'd be looking to get at least a 15%. Whereas for something within the health and fitness at 6.88, I'd be looking to get somewhere between that 13 to 15% as a click-through ratio. All right, so now that you know why working on your click-through ratio is so important, and I've also given you that information on where you can find some industry-related benchmarks so that you can then look to create some real goals for what you want to achieve for your business. Let's now go into those three best ways of how you can actually increase your click-through ratio. Now, all of these ways are actually included in my Google Ads Optimization Checklist. And if you want to make sure that you're never missing out on any of those important optimization actions that you need to complete in Google Ads, plus this checklist also breaks out how often you need to complete each action. All I want you to do is to follow that link in the description below, and then you've got a really clear guide into how to optimize your Google Ads campaign. Now, the first way that you can increase your click-through ratio is to have really relevant ad groups. And the reason for why this is so important is you wanna make sure that for the user, when they complete a search which triggers one of your ads, you wanna make sure that they're seeing an ad which is most relevant to their search and query. And then if they click on that ad, you wanna make sure they're going through to the most relevant landing page. And the best way to do this is to structure your ad groups using the STAGS method or the single theme ad group. And what you're doing here is you're grouping together all of your related keywords that have the same meaning into the one ad group. Once again, that you can make sure that the user is getting served up the most relevant ad for your campaign. So for example, if you were a lawyer and you wanted to market your car accident, your medical negligence, and also your personal injury claims, you would put those three services into three individual ad groups. What that would then mean is that if someone was to search for a personal injury, they would then see your ad ad copy around your personal injury lawyer services and they wouldn't see your car accident injury lawyer services ads. The second way that you can increase your click-through ratio is to use DKI or dynamic keyword insertion. Dynamic keyword insertion is a great tool that you can use and what it does is
is that it puts the tr keyword that triggered your ad into the headline of your ad copy. For the user experience, if they search a keyword and that triggers your ad, that keyword that triggered your ad would then be shown in their headline. I don't know if you've ever seen that before, is that when you complete your own Google search and then you actually see that search term, it does get your interest and it definitely does help with getting those clicks. Now, if you're unsure on how dynamic keyword insertion works, don't worry because at the end of this video, I will share a link where I've got a whole video on dynamic keyword insertion because right now I wanna move across to the last point, which is probably the most important point and the best way that you can increase your click-through ratio. And unfortunately, it's also the most underutilized way. And what you wanna do here is that you wanna have ads that stand out from your competitors. Remember with Google Ads search campaigns, you have no control over the font size, over the font color. You can't put any special characters into your headlines. So all of your ads look exactly the same as your competitors' ads. And it does mean that things can get quite boring when it comes to Google Ads ad copy. But what I want you to do is I want you to follow this four step process. And the first thing that you do is that you actually do a manual Google search for one of the search keywords which you are targeting in that ad group. Then you go through and check the ads of your competitors. And then what you wanna do from there is you wanna make your ad copy different. And a great way to do this is by adding in a percentage or a dollar value to your ad. Let me show you an example right now. So I've just done a search here for best gym software. And what I wanna show you here is that this first ad says best gym management software for gyms and fitness clubs, best gym software, gym management software, best gym software, number one highest rated software. Essentially, you're seeing the same ad three times. If I was operating in this space, what I would be doing, I would still be happy to keep this first headline the same, but the second headline, I would run something along the lines of either a pricing. So I would be saying, you know, from only $49 a month, or the other way of going about it is that if my gym software was proven to save gym owners $1,000 a month or $500 a month, whatever the amount is that they're saving, I'll be putting that in there, save whatever amount. What you're wanting to do, you wanting to have your ad copy in a way that rather than just saying a generic term, it's actually putting some value into the headline. So when you're wanting to increase the click-through ratio of your ads, what I want you to do is I want you to go and do a manual search in Google Ads, see what your competitors are doing, and then look to put some very clear headlines of where your ads can stand out from your competitors' ads remembering where possible to add in that percentage value or that dollar value, which is moving away from just airy fairy claims like we're number one or save money with us. And it actually puts in a percentage or a dollar value. Thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy. And remember, if you wanna get my optimization checklist for your Google Ads campaigns, follow that link in the description below. And as promised, I haven't forgotten, if you wanna learn more about dynamic keyword insertion, go through and watch this video right here. Or if you wanna see a greater extended teaching on ad copy and the best practices for 2024, go through and watch this video. See you next time.